2006, The Wicker Man is a cult horror movie. The movie starts with Nicolas Cage as a police officer, and he's gone through some trauma recently, and around this time, he ends up getting a letter from this woman that he used to mess around with that just kind of vanished out of nowhere, and she's saying that she's on this island, and that basically her daughter is missing, and to help. And being the good guy that he is, he decides to. So he goes to this island and just off rip, this island is just massively filled with women and the women basically do everything and kind of just rule this island. While there are men, but they're kind of treated like second class civilians. They don't talk, they don't really do nothing but linger. So Nicolas Cage starts asking a has anybody seen this girl and just like the original everybody says no they've never seen her they don't know who she is and she was never a part of this island but obviously Nicolas Cage's old fling is saying no that is my daughter and she's missing and these people are in on it so he decides to do some investigating where just like in the original he goes to a classroom full of little girls and he asks them, A, have you seen this girl? Where all of them say no, but he notices that there's this empty desk. And upon kind of being adamant that this girl is here, he ends up going into the attendance log and finds out, yes, this little girl was a part of this class. And basically everybody on the island and all the children in the classroom are just lying to him. Classic. And through just a bunch of dead ends, he ends up realizing that A, people are either lying to him about she existing, or people are lying about her being dead. It's just a mystery, and he's just getting pissed off at this point. As in this movie, his fling reveals that that's actually his daughter, which kind of ups the stakes. And one of the big differences in this movie is that instead of crops and fruits like the original, this movie has to do with honey, and Nicolas Cage realizes that their last honey crop was just the worst ever, and that it's kinda his daughter's fault as she was kind of the, the May child, and it's just kinda just like the original. So basically, he's under the assumption that they're going to sacrifice his daughter to basically get a plentiful honey crop and that is about the end of the movie without too many spoilers and if you've never seen these movies that's why i'm not going to spoil anything but if you have well you know what happens so my review for the wicker man remake there are going to be spoilers so yep just like my other review i'm going to talk about the things that i liked more about this movie compared to the original as i do just find both offer something unique first thing that i really liked about this movie compared to the original was that it just felt more culty with how it was kind of just all women and the men were like kind of second class it just felt more like a cult movie the second thing i liked which was the big thing about this movie compared to the original was in the original it just felt like dude could escape it wasn't really that brutal while in this one nicholas cage definitely tried to escape and it was just way more brutal and you kind of get the feeling that he actually got captured i mean in the original dude didn't fight back once while in this movie Nicolas Cage was just knocking women out left and right and he was just willing to kill people to escape and when he gets his legs broke at that point there was nothing he could do while just in the original it really did feel like dude could just get away also when Nicolas Cage is in the wicker man there's no way to escape while in the original it was just this flimsy door he could have just kicked that door in i don't know but that is literally the thing i think that separates this from the original was just how much more brutal it was so with that being said my recommendation for the wicker man remake 
just like the original these are both must sees as i do think each offers something unique even though when i looked up reviews for this wicker man the nicholas cage remake it got insanely low reviews compared to the original which watching back to back honestly neither was better than the other and neither was worse than the other they were just equal as they both offer something unique and it's the wicker man story which is just really good i mean this one literally copied dialogue word for word so i don't understand how it's rated so much less than the other one when it was literally like almost a copy and paste which just makes me think people hate to hate and they don't really appreciate the genre or the art that goes into it as like i said both offer something unique so enjoy <laughs> 